I wanna see about me, I wanna know about me. I'm out to see what you get. I came to see Kodak. Okay. Okay. Kodak. Kodak okay, playing Ron and I don't know what it is, bro. It just, it's just I scream, man. This is vibe. To the little kids in the streets, when they hear him, it's like they look at him as one of them. That's respect. That's young kid. I'm a Florida boy, man. Whether it's streets raising, you know what I'm saying? Golden Acres is the only project still in Broward. When my mama moved from Haiti, she stayed in the project. Now, I'm born in Haiti. I come over here, 1990. Kodak is my last baby. You know, I was my boys by myself. This is my project. This is my people project. You know what I'm saying? Once I was born, I was born in this house. You know what? Go to Lakers. At first, I used to go out there. We had the project sold up at my mama's house. Even my mama was smelling in the house. I used to post up on the porch right here all day. Me and my cousin, you know, we were selling powder and shit. Probably made like three, four hundred a day. I had all different type of us. I was just out of shit. Mom carjacking, putting the capers. I fell in love with, with just the thrill of it. I used to say school all night, all morning, because I was young. I say, Jason, let me tell you something. Your school always call me. They say, you always doing music in your class. You want a school or you want doing music? He said, Mom, music is my life. I really took it serious. I really took it serious when after I caught my little punch over by life charge. And I caught an arm car jacket towards. I was like 15 years old. After that arm car jacket, I was in the juvie. I was in the juvie, I was sitting. And all my dogs were getting locked up too. I'm just saying, it'd be crazy. I ain't gonna say every day you just get your hair but I ain't gonna say that. But this the this the jets, you know what I'm saying? We've been through the trenches, you feel me? So all this here is it, just, I ain't gonna say it, it's new for it, it's just, it's a better way of doing it. Young, I got old cats spazzing on they head. I got product on my whole head. Got my lab one man popping. My son came to me. And was like, you don't know Kodak? I was like, play the record for me. But I was like, that's smashing. And I was in Orlando DJing at Lux, and somebody came up to me and kept asking about playing this No Flocking record. And so I actually just dropped it in the club, and the club went crazy. I ain't talking about my niggas, damn, but y'all tripping too. Is it you? Damn, my nigga, what the hell got into you? No Flocking a different beat. So I was like, I'm gonna get on it and just swag. That's what broke him. Yeah, no flocking. No flocking broke him down. It's like he was already buzzing, and he went to Juvie, and it seemed like his buzz just grew. And then I seen the uh, the Drake video after. Yeah, after Drake did it on the plane, the little dance thing, it was over. Because if Drake co-signed you, you got his fan base now. I heard about it. I ain't know what that did. But I just know that's Drake, so... You trying to show me you f with me or what? Uh, we ain't never talked on the phone though. Yeah, but he was texting me and shit. I'm direct with it. So if you trying to show me that you f with me, call me. Throw me on your album so I can give me some royalties off. If you can't relate to him, you ain't gonna really feel or grasp how he delivered his rhyme. If you a real, real street nigga, you know like that's a spell. I see the potential. I know he gonna do whatever it take to get them. And I just seen it in him. You know, you go wake up one day, you wake up, your dreams right in your face. And sometimes I felt like, damn, I got it. I, I knew how to rap. Back then, that's how I was feeling like I was stuck in the projects. I was feeling like, man, I be going through too much of shit to make it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, nobody ain't proof of me, you know what I'm saying? Everybody from with something. I'm just out here, so that's what come with it. You feel me when you tell you ain't like the beginning, just be like, I want to go to the and go to the gym. That shit just come out. That's when you out here, and I'm going to be out here.